Good morning guys, guess what? It's finally the 1st of December today, which means Vlogmas is back. <music> bathroom so that I can give you a little bit of an update of what's going on. So it's actually currently 20 past 8 in the morning and I apologise about what I look like. I've literally just got up and haven't got ready yet but today I have a meeting at half nine and then I have a lecture at 11 till 1 so I will probably not vlog that much before the lecture and basically start the vlog after the lecture but can we just appreciate that it is finally December like this year has literally flown by so quick and I'm just so excited for vlogmas again i absolutely loved it last year and now i have my vlogging channel i can properly get into it and i just hope that you guys really enjoy it because i honestly love vlogging so much okay so i've just got changed now and i'm about to do my makeup because i literally look so dead right now like i'm so tired and just need a bit of makeup on my face because yeah i can't exactly go out like this but i'm also about to watch the start of philip schofield's new show i'm really excited to watch it because i literally love philip schofield so much he's one of my favorite people him and Holly on This Morning are just my favourite duo ever. So yeah, I'm really excited to watch the new programme and it's a Christmassy programme. So I'm excited to watch that. And yeah, I'm just going to do my makeup and then I'll probably update you afterwards. And if I have time before I go out, I will do my advent calendars because obviously it's the first now and I can't actually wait to open my advent calendars. But I feel like I might not have time. So if not, we can do it afterwards. Okay, so I have a little bit of time before I go out to open my advent calendars. So as you can see, I have two this year. I have the classic chocolate one, which has to be Malteser because I pretty much get it every year. It's literally my favorite. And then I also have the M&S one this year. And this was a bit of a debate as to what kind of beauty calendar I wanted this year because as you probably know there are so many out there at the moment and last year I did actually get the Tanya Burr one which I really really liked and it was really really good for the money because it was only like £20 it was like an introductory offer when I got it last year and yeah it was definitely worth it but you do only get 12 days and I just wanted to try something different so at first I was going to get the Body Shop one because of course Body Shop products are just amazing and I knew that I would love it but my family actually saw a deal for the M&S one. And I think that if you spent £35, you got the calendar for £35, which is a pretty good deal considering the calendar on its own is £250. Like, if you just bought it outright, it would literally be £250, which I think is a bit ridiculous for an advent calendar, but you are getting that much worth of products. Like, it's really, really good. You're getting, like, high-end makeup and skincare, which, of course, I just love. And can we just appreciate, like, how pretty it actually looks? Like, this is, like, the prettiest advent calendar I've ever seen. It's just laid out so nicely. Look at the detail on each of the boxes. Like, it's actually insane. So, yeah, this calendar is definitely worth the money, and I'm really excited to get opening it. And I really don't want to ruin it. That's the only thing, because I swear, where is even number one? Oh, okay, number one is here. Like, does it make everything else fall out? I don't know. We'll soon find out, I guess. But I'm going to start with the chocolate one and just open this one first. So, where is door number one? That's like half the issue on these calendars. Okay, door number one is here. Let's see if I can open it without ruining it, because I've only got one hand. Oh my god, it's literally already ripped, guys. Okay. What do you get if you cross a snowman and a shark? Frostbite. Oh my god, these jokes. <laughs> these jokes are honestly ridiculous. Okay, now here is going to be the struggle of how to get this out. Guys, I only have one hand. Okay, so I managed to get it out, guys, and it's this little Christmas tree. And I'm actually really excited to eat this because I haven't had a good old Malteser type chocolate in ages, so. Mmm. You can't beat advent chocolate. Is it just me or does chocolate taste so much better in an advent calendar? I don't know if that's just me being really weird, but I just feel like it always tastes so good. So yeah, that's the first day done. And now if I get on to this calendar, I don't even know how to get into it, guys. I feel like I have to pull this thing out. Right, let me move it across so I can get to it better. I'm going to lie it down, I think, just so I can properly open it. So I think I take this out. Oh my god, I'm scared. One second guys, let me undo the sellotape and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I think I've managed to figure it out. So you take the plastic off and then you basically just pull these boxes out. So this one's number one. Oh my god, 
so much longer than what I thought it was. I thought it was just going to be like little square. Oh my god, okay, so what has this got on it? It's got little presents. Oh my god. They're just decorated so nicely, I can't even deal. Right, I don't want to ruin this box, so... Right, how am I going to do this without ruining the box, guys? I'm thinking, can I rest you somewhere? Okay, I can't really figure out how I'm going to do this. I think I might bring you over on to my desk, maybe, just because I don't want to ruin the boxes. Like, it's so nicely set out that I don't want to be the one to ruin it. So, can I place you strategically here? Can you see me? I hope you can see me. Okay, so I'm going to open the box up. I'm so excited. Like, oh my god, this is like the best advent calendar ever. Okay. And they're all like proper full-size products. Okay, oh my god. So this is the Rosie for Autograph, which can I just say, I've wanted to try her products for ages because I'm a really big fan of her, I literally love her. The fact that she has a range out with Marks and Spencers is just so exciting. So this is the Amazing Radiance Body Glow. So it's a lightly tinted lotion to enhance your natural glow. This sounds literally amazing. Get instantly glowing and healthy looking skin with this moisturising, gently tinted lotion with light reflective particles. It says you can literally rub it all over your body. And also guys, I can smell it through the packaging. Like this is insane. What the heck, will I be able to see? Oh my god. I don't know if you can even see that, but it's like gold reflective. That's so pretty, oh my god, I'm so excited to use this. This would look amazing like for a Christmas party, when you just want to look a bit glowy and a bit glittery kind of thing. I may actually use this for the winter ball that I've got next weekend, because I'm planning on wearing like quite a glittery dress, so I think that this with it would look really really good. So yeah, I'm so excited to use this, and the fact that it's literally a full size product, like this is 50 mils, like that's incredible. So I think I'm going to put it back into the box and keep everything back in the boxes for now just because yeah I don't really know where else I'd put it and it will look better in the box so yeah so far this calendar is definitely a good one okay so I'm gonna put it back in where it came from so just slide it back in yeah it slides in so easily as well and then I think I might put the plastic back on just because I don't want all of this to fall out like imagine that would literally be the worst thing ever but it is currently now what is the time five past nine and my meetings at half past so I'm just going to get my stuff ready and head off in a bit and then I have my lecture straight after that which yeah isn't really great because I can't really vlog that much but once I finish that which is at one I'm going to talk you through all of my like vlogmas ideas and basically what's going to be happening and yeah just show you my room a little bit because I have decorated it a little bit for Christmas you've probably seen a bit of a sneak peek just then with my duvet but I have decorated a little bit just to make myself feel festive because obviously I am going to be living here until like the 16th of December so yeah that's quite a lot of December gone and quite a lot of the Christmas run up gone so yeah I have to make my room look a little bit Christmassy but I am in a bit of a rush now so I'm just going to go and stop talking because I feel like I'm just procrastinating vlogging and I don't think that's a problem but when I'm late to the meeting that will be a little bit awkward to try and explain. Okay so I've just finished my lecture and I'm now in town because I need to go to Tesco to get some food because I basically have nothing in and I'm getting really judged right now because I'm vlogging in public but we're gonna embrace it and um, yeah I just need to get some like pasta sauce and just random stuff. Right so I'm just walking back up to my accommodation now and I picked up a Costa hot chocolate as well because it's literally so cold but I feel like I'm going to drop it any second because I'm holding my vlogging camera in the same hand as my hot chocolate and it's going to spill so I'm going to end the vlog clip here and speak to you in a bit. Okay so I've literally just got back to my flat now and I'm really sorry about the poor public vlogging. I still hate it and I just feel so embarrassed when other people are staring at me. When I'm holding a camera that's literally on a tripod in front of me, I just get really embarrassed so yeah that's probably why you didn't see much of when I was out. But I literally just went to Tesco and picked up some stuff to make some nachos later because I really want to make some nachos for tea. And then I also just picked up some pasta sauce and milk as well. And I also just picked up a Costa hot chocolate because it's literally so cold. Like I'm in this fur coat and I'm still frozen. Like honestly, it's dropped in temperature so much, like so quickly. It's literally crazy. So yeah, I'm just gonna unpack all of my shopping and then I'm gonna sit down and properly chat to you about vlogmas and just how it's going to work basically because I feel like this vlog has been a complete mismatch of clips and I haven't really properly sat down and talked to you about vlogmas and yeah that's just what I'm going to do 
in a bit. Okay, so it's currently quarter to three, and as you can tell, I'm back now, and I've unpacked everything, and I'm just sat here with my Costa, and I'm about to have a chat with you about Vlogmas, and about just everything that's gonna be going on for the next month or so. And yeah, I basically just wanted to sit down and chat to you guys, because I feel like this vlog has been quite jumpy from clips. Like, you've seen before my lecture, then I had a lecture, and there was a massive gap in between. And that's kind of what I want to explain, because obviously I want to do Vlogmas to the best of my ability, and I want to make it as entertaining for you guys as possible, because I just love vlogging, and Vlogmas is just the most incredible thing ever, because you get a mixture of your two favourite things in one and yeah I just love watching other people's vlogmases and they always seem to do really really festive exciting things every day like Zoe at the moment is in Edinburgh and things like that but obviously I'm at uni so the reality is quite different. So I will be vlogging every single day up to Christmas Eve which is the 24th of December and the first like 16 days I will be at uni so until the 16th of December I will be here all of the vlogs are going to be around uni and what's going on here but there are quite a lot of Christmas events that are coming up so obviously I can vlog those events for you guys and you can kind of come into my life and see what's going on so I will try and make it as entertaining as possible and as exciting for you guys and I just find kind of homey vlogs really exciting anyway and really enjoyable to watch. So I hope that you don't mind that the first couple of weeks are going to be quite samey and just quite typical of uni life and that sort of thing. But I do promise that I will try and do a lot of Christmassy things in between. But from the 16th I will be at home again so you'll see a lot of family vlogs and hopefully we'll have some very exciting days there. And they're just going to be very chill vlogs, this Vlogmas. When I get home, I'm going to be wanting to spend time with my family and not really be doing really extravagant things. Just literally being at home is going to be something that I'm so excited for. So yeah, I hope that you don't mind that these vlogs are more of a chatty type thing. And less of a busy, like, travel-filled Vlogmas because that's definitely not going to happen. But speaking of travelling, I am actually going to London tomorrow for Beautycon. And yeah, I haven't even mentioned it in this vlog yet, which I don't even know why because I'm so excited. So tomorrow I'm travelling up to London and I'm meeting up with Liv again so we're reuniting it will be so amazing spending the day with her and I'm also meeting a load of you guys and also a load of my other internet friends we have like this massive group chat and we're doing a secret Santa and all sorts of things so I actually need to sort all that stuff out later because I haven't even printed my tickets off I haven't packed any of my bag I haven't wrapped the secret Santa present I'm basically very behind because I've been busy with uni and stuff. So yeah, that's something very exciting coming up tomorrow. So that vlog will be really, really good. Can't wait for it. But yeah, I just want to also say that these vlogs will be going up every single day at 5 p.m. I did do a poll on my Twitter asking you guys what sort of time you'd prefer me to upload the vlogs. I asked whether it would be best for 4pm, 5pm or 6pm and the majority of you did say 5 and I also think that's a very good idea because obviously quite a lot of you guys are at school and college and things so 5 o'clock is a good time when everyone's back home and yeah I just think five o'clock is a good time for everybody so that's basically what's going to be happening so definitely subscribe if you haven't already to this vlogging channel a lot of you guys may not actually know that I had a vlogging channel so if you're new here then hi and yeah also click the notification button down below which is the bell because YouTube is messing up so bad right now and you may not actually see my vlog in your subscription box so if you don't want to miss out on my vlogmas videos which I assure you that you don't because yeah I'm just gonna make them as fun as possible then I definitely click that bell and you won't miss out on the video so yeah that's basically all I wanted to say I just really hope that you enjoy this vlogmas and enjoy seeing what I get up to but right now I actually need to sort my stuff out for Beautycon because like I said I'm not ready at all so I think I might actually start with wrapping the secret Santa present so I'm just going to go over grab the wrapping paper grab all the tags and things I need and then I'll get back to you okay so I've just got my stuff ready to wrap so the first thing I have is my wrapping paper and I just quickly wanted to show you this because I really really like it I don't know if you'll be able to tell, I think you can, but it has presents all over it and it's just really, really nice. I think it's really pretty pattern. And this was from Wilco and it's 12 metres. Like, that's actually insane. Like, 12 metres is quite a lot. And it was only £2 as well, which I think is really good because sometimes 
you can pay like two pounds for three meter so for 12 meters for two pounds i think that's pretty good and yes this is what i'm going to be using to wrap the presents with i just had a thought actually do i have sellotape i think i do okay this would be bad if i don't have sellotape because that means i'll have to go back into town um and then i'm quickly going to show you the secret santa present that i got because obviously the person that i got this present for will know at the time because beautycon has already been basically when you're watching this which is weird to think because yeah it's just really surreal so this is what i actually got and my secret santa was liv and i got her this eye brush set and i got this in boots and i decided to get this because if you didn't know she has her own eyeshadow brand called aloha glitz and obviously she's just really into eyeshadow and that sort of thing she's been getting a lot more into makeup recently so i thought that this would be really really handy for her eyeshadows and she can just yeah make use of these and they actually look really good because it comes with a pencil brush liner brush crease brush and a color packer so you're getting four different brushes in here they're really nice colors i just thought that i would get that for her and then i also just have my daisy dream box which i got my mark jacobs perfume in which can i just say i absolutely love the box i don't know if you're going to be able to see but it's so pretty um so i'm just going to open this up because in here i have all of my christmas cards and ribbons and that sort of thing so i'm going to also write some christmas cards as well because I want to write some cards for the girls that are meeting tomorrow in the group chat. So yeah, I might also put one of these really pretty bows on because they're so cute. But yeah, I'm just going to start wrapping and I'll probably do like a time lapse or something. So you guys can see me wrapping the presents. And yeah, I'm really excited to wrap this because this is the first present I've wrapped this year. And I love wrapping presents. I find it so fun. Let's get into the time lapse. Okay, so I've just wrapped the present up and as you can see this is what the paper looks like. Do you agree with me? This is like really nice paper, I love it. So I'm actually going to decide on what I want to decorate it with because I feel like I should go the extra mile. So I might put some ribbon on and then put a little tag or something. I'm not entirely sure yet so yeah I'll let you know once I've finished. Okay, so I've just finished wrapping the present and as you can tell I get a bit excited when it comes to wrapping presents. So I just added one of these um, little bows which is all like glittery, it's so pretty and then just this tag which says from Santa and yeah that's basically that wrapped. I'm now going to go on to writing the cards and yeah this might take me a while because there's quite a few that I need to write. So I'm just going to do that now and I'll probably do another time lapse because I love a time lapse and I'm sure that you guys love a time lapse too. Before I do that I quickly wanted to show you the cards, I forgot to do that before. But these are the ones that I chose for this year and I'm honestly obsessed with them, I think they're so cute. If you know me you know that I also love kind of woodland animals so these are just perfect they are by the artist tom smith and basically in here you get how many actually do you get 18 cards and you get some squirrel ones some robins some foxes and also some owls and yeah i just think these are the cutest so yeah let's get on to writing <laughs> Okay, so I've just written all the cards now and I literally have so many, there's literally so many here. So yeah, are there to give out to all of the girls that are in my group chat and I believe that they're all coming to mine and Liv's meetup as well because we are doing a meetup at BeautyCon just so we can meet some of you guys and yeah, there's quite a few of you coming hopefully. So I'm really excited for that as well and um, just to see everybody and I thought it'd be nice to give everyone a card just so yeah i just think it's a really nice thing to do so i've done all that now and i've wrapped the present so now all that i've got to do is pack my bag and decide what i'm going to bring i also need to sort out my outfit because i think i know what i'm wearing but i haven't got it out and everything so i should probably do that just so it's ready for the morning because guys i literally have to get up tomorrow at 5 a.m to get the train because my train is at 6.55 but by the time I'm ready and by the time that I've got everything sorted and done my makeup and everything it will literally just fly by so yeah I'm getting up at 5 o'clock 
which is going to be horrendous because it's just so cold outside and it's just so dark at that time in the morning so yeah getting up is going to be a bit of a struggle and then i think i get in at about 20 to 11 which so it's like a three and a half hour train journey and then I'm actually meeting Liv. So I'm meeting her at Paddington Station because she gets in at Victoria. And then I think she's getting the tube over to Paddington to come and meet me so that we can go to the event together tomorrow. And I'm just so excited to see her. And yeah, I'm just going to stop rambling now because I need to go and get myself sorted. It's currently four o'clock. So I have a bit of time before tea to get all that sorted. Then I'm going to make some nachos for tea, which I am so excited about. And then after tea, I think I'm just going to edit the vlog because obviously I don't have any time tomorrow at all to edit the vlog and upload it. So I'm going to edit the vlog tonight. And I also might watch like a Christmas film or maybe like a Christmas episode because if you know me, you know I absolutely love watching Christmas specials. Can I just say Gavin and Stacey is the best one out there. I've probably watched it about 10 times already this year. I'm a little bit obsessed and yeah, knowing me, I'll probably watch that again and I pretty much know it word for word because it's amazing. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's on Netflix. It's the best Christmas episode ever. So yeah, I'll probably just do that tonight and chill out. I'll also show you my Christmas decorations tonight once I'm in bed because I can show you all of the lights and stuff that's by my bed. It's just so cosy and yeah, that's just what I'm going to do now. So I need to tidy up as well because I've just basically shoved all of that stuff on the floor from the present making so yeah i should probably clear that up okay guys so i've just packed my bag up i'm bringing the same one that i brought to you sitsy which is this june london one and it's basically just gold and metallic it's really really pretty but i'm actually worried that i've forgotten something because a minute ago i literally forgot to put my purse in so yeah i'm a bit worried i forgot something really obvious i've got my train tickets i've got the beauty con tickets i've got my purse now my secret santa presents cards business cards i literally can't think of anything else i'm currently charging up my portable charger so that will go in as well and also my iPad may go in, I'm not entirely sure yet. But I think apart from that, that's pretty much everything. I'm gonna have to carry my vlog and camera separate because it literally won't fit in here. It's full to the brim, so yeah, that's gonna be carried separately. But I think apart from that, I've got everything. So yeah, I'm going to actually make my dinner in a bit. I'm not entirely sure. It's quarter past five right now. So I think I may start making it in around 15 minutes time. But for now, I'm just going to chill for a bit because I've been literally non-stop on the go for the past couple of hours trying to sort things out. Also, guys, I've literally just noticed that Saffron has uploaded her first Christmas video, which I'm definitely going to watch right now because if you know me, you know that Saffron is definitely one of my favourite YouTubers. So I'm going to go over to my laptop and put that on because I literally can't wait any longer. Like... This is going to be me tomorrow when Zoe and everyone releases her vlogmas videos but I will be on the train and I will be on the train until 11 o'clock at night so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to watch everyone's vlogmas videos until 11 o'clock at night so I guarantee that I'm going to be up all night tomorrow which isn't great considering that I have to get up so early so yeah I'm just literally logging into my laptop now I'm so excited what the heck okay so let's go on to YouTube I feel like so many people have uploaded videos today like Christmassy videos like a load of people have started vlogmas already which is crazy um oh my god it's here so it's literally like the first thing that comes up there it is. Uh, what even video is it? The biggest Christmas giveaway. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to go and watch this now. And then after I've watched it, I'm going to make my dinner because I'm getting a little bit peckish. Okay, so I've just come into the kitchen to make my dinner. And I quickly wanted to show you the decorations that we've put on the wall. Just because we wanted to make the kitchen look a little bit Christmassy as well. So we've just got some tinsel here and then just some little snowflakes that are glittery up the top. But, you know, you've got to make your kitchen look Christmassy as well. But I'm actually going to make my dinner now. So I'm going to try and put you up here, maybe, whilst I sort everything out. And, yeah, this is very exciting. I'm really, really hungry, actually. So I'm going to hurry up and make it. Okay, so what do I need? I definitely need tortilla chips because you can't really make nachos without them. So... I've just got some Tesco's ones because I'm cheap and I didn't want to spend a lot. Um, and then I'm quickly going to grab some stuff out of the fridge. 
Okay, so I've just got some salsa, which is just the Doritos mild one. And then I also have guacamole, which is one of my favorite things ever. And also some sour cream and chive dip as well. And then I just have two different types of cheese to sprinkle on the top, which I'm then gonna put in the oven just so it all melts and is all really warm. So yeah, I'm probably gonna bring you over to my table and I'll do a little time lapse of me creating my nachos. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. As you can see, there is quite a lot of topping, but I absolutely love sour cream and also guacamole. So yeah, so I'm just gonna put this in the oven for, I don't really know how long to be fair, just as long as it takes for all of the cheese to melt and for everything to get warm. And I'm so excited to eat this. Like honestly, this is one of my all time favorite meals, like Mexican meals, I just, love so much so yeah i can't wait to put this in and i'll show you the finished product once it comes out okay so i've just put that in the oven and whilst that's kind of doing its thing i'm actually going to watch liv's video because she's starting her 31 days of liv today well yesterday for you guys so definitely go and check her channel out it's aloha liv like she would appreciate it so much and yeah she's literally just uploaded her intro video so i'm going to watch that now and then I'll probably just get it out in a couple of minutes and eat my food and I'm also going to watch Saffron's vlog whilst I eat it because I watched her main channel video but I haven't seen her vlog yet so I'm just going to take this time to catch up on a bit of YouTube which is my favourite thing to do so I'm going to do that whilst I'm eating one of my favourite foods so tonight is a pretty good evening okay so here is the finished product and I'm just going to eat this because I'm so hungry like it literally looks incredible I'm so excited oh my god it's really hot ah! <laughs> okay so I did actually say earlier that I would show you my decorations in my room so I'm going to show you quickly now so as you can see this is the duvet set I have. I absolutely love it. And my mum actually got this for me as a present, which was very kind of her. And it just matches my room so well, because if you have seen my uni room tour on my main channel, then you would have seen that my room theme is gray and copper. And as you can tell, like by the pillows as well, it's very gray. So this is literally perfect. I am obsessed, it's amazing. And then above my bed, I actually added some tinsel, which I got from Poundland, but it's actually really nice. If you can see, it's this kind of teal and purple color. It's so, so nice. And then wrapped around it, I actually have some multicolored lights, which I got from Wilco for two pounds. And they have come down a little bit there, which I'll sort out in a bit. And then the final thing that I got for around my bed was actually this like copper leaf glittery gold thing it's really hard to explain it was also from wilco for was it one pound fifty maybe but it was in the christmas section but i'm gonna keep this up all year because it matches my room so well and then the only other thing i have is over here which is this little tinsel christmas tree and because i don't have my proper like mini christmas tree at uni i thought that this would make a good kind of compromise that was also from poundland yes the best christmas decorations are from poundland and wilco like you can't really go wrong so yeah it kind of has got that christmas feel but i am missing the fact that i don't have a proper christmas tree and my mum did show me on facetime earlier the tree up and everything so i think they're decorating it tonight or tomorrow maybe so i'm excited to see that when i actually go home and see it in real life and everything and i just feel like that would be more christmasy but for the moment this is what we've got to deal with and also i think my mum is going to decorate my room at home for me ready for when i come home for christmas so that'll be really lovely to have that all done right so as you can see i've got into bed now it's a lot later it's currently quarter to ten and i want to get quite an early night even though this is not really that early 
But yeah, because I have to get up at 5am, I'm going to go to bed now. I need to finish editing the vlog quickly. I've not got much left to do. So I need to edit it, upload it and get it scheduled for tomorrow for 5 because I won't be here to sort it all out. But I quickly wanted to show you my Christmas lights because I said that I would do it later. And you can't really see them properly so I think I'm going to turn the light off. Okay, here we go. So you can see so well the lights now and look how festive it is. Like honestly, I'm obsessed. So yeah. That's basically the end of the vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow for a really fun filled vlog and yeah, I'm so excited. So I'm going to go to sleep now and I will see you in the morning. Bye!